supporting it for Jake Haig tonight a lot of people come to see him coming to the wing with Ricky Hatton here he comes Rounds of the light heavyweight division. Jake Haig, Mark Till. Hey, he's got a lovely long jab. Throwing it out there already. Nice work again. Just using those long arms, judge the distance. I think Till will want this in close range if he can, get on the inside. Nice little counter right hook as Till came in there. Steve Wood for VIP Promotions on VIPboxing.tv in association with Fight Life TV and Tanko Boxing. A night of Championship Eliminator Boxer. Top of the bill, it's Matty Askin from Blackpool against Tommy McCarthy from Ireland. Before then, we've got Ben Sheedy with Davida Sajuka and Luke Evans against Fawns Alexander. In the ring right now, we've got Jake Hay 
He's in with Mark Till. Four three minute rounds. He's just looking for opportunities to work his shots. Yeah. Till's just trying to get on the inside here, close the range, because Hayes got massive long arms to use the jab, throw the jab. I think he's caught already there, Till. Yeah, Till looks like he's been hit by a, by a frying pan. You know, <laughs> I think Trevor Jordash, you think he hit Little Mo with something similar in Emmerdale, and that's where he, he, he's, the area around his nose and the gap between his eyes. Um, well, I know that's where your nose is, but yeah, just <laughs> that's lovely body shot there as well. Just, you know, I was just about to give Till a bit of a big up and say he's better than his record. And, and, and he is better than his record, but he's obviously landed something that's you know quite damaging in there already. Yeah, it's that jab that keeps getting through the guard every time he throws it. He's using it quite effectively so far. Been some nice uppercuts landed as well. I don't think uh, I don't think any box has ever been accused of having the power of. Uh, it was oh Trevor Jordash was uh, Brookside. What was the guy called who? Um, what was his name who, who hit Little Mo in EastEnders? Trevor. It was Trevor, weren't it? Scottish well, Trevor. Yeah, but Trevor Jordash was uh, one of who got buried under the patio, weren't he, in Brookside? Yeah, so. Yeah. Anna Friel buried him. Yeah. Anna Friel, like it just said. Were you a Brookside fan? Do you know, I, I liked Barry Grant. Um, a, a bit of a Phil Mitchell fan as well, so you can kind of say I kind of like people that go around bullying people and, you know. Uh, <laughs> Forcing your your way on people. It's a little bit like what JK's doing in the ring with Mark Till. Mark Till's got a bit, you know, he's got a bit of a, a caveman look to him, hasn't he? You know, he's a tough man, he's an hard, real hard guy. JK there. Mike Jackson and Ricky Afton in the corner, they're gonna be really happy with that. Yeah, he looked good working the jab there. Everything came off that jab, it was looking good. Still to come tonight, Luke Evans, Ben Sheedy, and then the main event. Ashley Yo, McCarthy. If you're watching at home, we do do a little bit of boxing karaoke, so we're just going to wait for the chorus if we get a chance. We've got a high hole silver lining for the Irish fans watching. Looking forward to Matty Askin and Tommy McCarthy. I don't think we're going to get a chance to do it. Not too sure why the referee's just going to... Oh, silver, silver lining, anywhere you go. You know what's quite ironic actually, this song is uh, it's also a song that Ricky Atten used to use for his uh, ring walk at times before it kicked into Blue Moon. And the words weren't uh, hi ho, silver line, it was hi ho, you rather large person, you've never seen a salad. I remember Ricky coming out to a... Uh, absolute, absolute British legend, well, British boxing legend Ricky Atten, two weight world champion. JK just looking to get those straight shots going again. Lovely right uppercut there from Jake. Yeah, they, they that was the way. The JK fans, you know, they're uh, they're coming here, they're causing a bit of a storm tonight. I heard them. Uh, they were giving the Manchester fans a bit of stick earlier on. I wonder who it was actually. So he's, he's obviously shifted a few tickets as well. Nice right hand there. Till's just 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 catching the shots and just rolling with a little, you know, taking a bit of the sting out of the shots. But he's boxing well. Yeah, Mark was supposed to fight, turn up last night to fight, put him in the boot Telford, wasn't he? He's turned up uh, 24 hours later, picked up a cut and got a, a horrible, awkward, hard yeah. punch in. Yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been like a blind day, lovely body shots in there and then finished off with a right hand over the top. You can see he's growing into this as well. He's kind of, he's seeing the openings now that little bit earlier, he's laying the punches, got a little bit shy. Just, both guys went a little bit dangerous with the head there. Just telegraphed looking for that right uppercut there, JK. It's a little bit like blind date tonight for, uh, for for John Telford and JK tonight. Not too sure, you know, yesterday they both had a different opponent. They've swapped opponents for different reasons tonight. And I'm enjoying what I've been enjoying, JK. Oh, lovely body shot there I'm, as well. I'm, I'm glad you went with blind date rather than that horrible no like, no likey, no likey. Yeah, no I'm, I'm, do you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of Paddy McGuinness. No. He doesn't do it for me. Give me a bit of Peter Kelly. Do you know, I prefer Dave Spikey out of all of them. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, I like Dave Spikey. I'm not too sure what's going on with this air conditioning. I feel like I'm, uh, I feel like I'm on the Titanic at the minute. It's varying, isn't it, from too warm to freezing cold. Yeah, it is. It's blowing our notes away, so excuse any gaps in our knowledge. 
That's what I'm blaming it on. Hashtag blagging it. So we're going to hashtags. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live on Twitter. Let us know what you think of this fight so far. Still to come tonight. Got Luke Evans, very promising. One of my tips for 2017. He's fighting Fonz Alexander. Always comes for a fight. Ben Sheedy, Davida Sayuka. Ben's a big ticket seller. He's been, he's, Ben's been pretty solid so far as well, hasn't he? He had some good exposure on a Anthony Crawler card at the MEN Arena. And then the fight, most people here are waiting for. We're getting excited about it now. Matty Askin and Tommy McCarthy. Final eliminator for a British Cruiserweight title. And it's just got that feel that it could be really explosive. You know, just to cover off on a few of the points you've just said there, but just got to acknowledge some of the work that JK's doing. They really hurt Mark Till there. The few shots, a right hand to the body, and there's a right hand upstairs. Mark Till's looking at the ref there. He's looking at the ref because he wanted the ref to do him a favour and buy him a couple of seconds. Really good round again there from JK. Just talk about Luke Evans, you're right, there is a lot of people that's looking at Luke now. He's in with Fonz Alexander tonight. They're the fights that Luke wants, and Fonz, you know, he's gonna, I think he'll come and have a go. He had a go on a Frank Warren show a few weeks ago against Andy, who's a, a bit of a prospect in the Warren camp. Ben Sheedy, the best thing I think that could have happened to Ben Sheedy was when he got hit with the right hand by Robert Studinski. I think that just got him, he just respects the pro game that little bit more now, and I think since then, I don't think he's lost the round, I think he's boxed really well. He's had the exposure on an MEN show, and he's here again tonight, sold a load of tickets. He's looking forward to 2017. And then, top of the bill, asking a McCarthy. You know, the next three fights we've got here, we could be talking about Sky Sports on a Saturday night. That's the kind of quality you're going to be bringing you. I'm going to shoot off now, guys, and I'll be back for the uh, Ben Sheedy fight. Live the dream. Here we go, round three or four. Jake Haig, Mark Till in there at the moment. Yeah, he's going to want more of the same here from Hightower. Till's going to try and make it rough, tough, brawl inside and close the distance. But Haig looks pretty adept at just making the most of his jab, doesn't he? And that right uppercut's a, a nasty, nasty little weapon. Yeah, the jab's been working well so far tonight. And like you were saying, that right hand is coming off the jab and all his good work is coming from that strong jab straight down the middle. Thanks for joining us for the second part of Steve Wood's double header here at the Victoria Warehouse. Whether you're watching this live or you're watching it on Fight Live TV in association with Tanko Boxing, VIP promotions, hope you're enjoying it. Seen some of Manchester's brightest young hopes. Some good performances, some indifferent performances over the two nights, some exciting performances, but we've still got the most meaningful fight yet to come. Yeah, the nut. The two nights are going to be topped off by an absolute cracker, but we've had some good fights over the two nights and it's been a really good couple of nights of boxing. Mark Till just get a little bit of telling off there from the referee. Two nice right hands there from Jake. One to the head, one to the body. Body shot in particular really thumped home. Yeah, he started to use that body shot at this fight more and more as it's going on it's proven to be very effective yeah, your body shots are key aren't they when you've got an opponent that coming forward charging you down just to slow them down a little bit buy you a little bit more time as the fight goes on yeah also have the effect of dropping Till's hands yeah that absolutely was, hey Jake is obviously a pretty hard hitter he's got one stoppage from his one fight so far but you can tell he, he carries himself like a puncher if he can uh, just get Till's defences down a little bit, leaves him some openings to capitalise on. Yeah, you can see he's working the body more and more as this round goes on. <coughs> he's looked good so far, Jake Hague, tonight. Really good performance, mature performance, to what you call it. Not getting carried away using the job, using his skills. Lovely work to the body again. That right hook just got through the guard. He's throwing some nice sharp hooks as well when he's in close. 
to the head and to the body. Working quite well when Till gets close. Another good round from Jake Haig. I think that's three out of three. Yeah, just like Danny Wright earlier in the night, who it was his second professional fight, and in his first one, he got rid of a guy in a round. Jake had about four minutes action in his first fight, so now he's getting a real taste of what the actual professional sport is all about. You know, he'll learn more tonight than in the last year since he decided to yeah, turn absolutely. pro. absolutely. Experience like this are vital, aren't they? Dealing with different styles, different opponents, different ways of fighting, and, and going the round and testing your fitness out and your punch resistance, because that's key to a fighter. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live on Twitter. Let us know what you thought of the night so far. Want some predictions for asking McCarthy? It's getting closer and closer. Let us know what you think about that one. Still to come, Ben Sheedy and Luke Evans. And then it's the main event. Again, just bought that right uppercut beautifully. He carries his when he when he throws it, he drops his right hand quite low, and it must make it difficult to see for Till. Yeah, especially from such a big guy, it's coming from so low. You're focusing on the head and and the jab coming in, and this uppercut just rips up straight through your guard, doesn't it? Like like the Joe Lewis jab, it just comes from outside your eye line. Thomas Hearns used to carry his right hand, very, well, his left hand very low, didn't he, and shoot that yeah. jab out from his hip. It's not quite the same sort of stuff, but for your right uppercut is coming from low down, and Till's having a, a real trouble reading it. Yeah, it's just another thing to add to your game, isn't it? You've got this shot that your opponent's not going to see, and then they're going to be focusing on this right hand uppercut, and then the jab comes straight through, and it's like a little bit of a cycle, isn't it, with both these punches and these options that he's got. Nice work again from Jake, just nice simple one two off the jab with the right hand over the top. Yeah, he's just going to carry on on this track I think now to the end of the round Jake, there's no reason to change anything, it's a comfortable victory in the bag here. Yeah absolutely, good four rounds under his belt. A fairly high pace as well. He's never really been troubled by Till though. Whipping that left hook into the body there in that combination, four shots. Yeah, Till's obviously just resigned himself to making it to the end now without getting uh, without getting badly damaged. Pretty good performances from Jake Haig. It's nothing out of this world, but as solid as it possibly gets, I think. Yeah, and that right uppercut's clearly something they've been working on. Ricky Hatton's call in the corners calling for the left jab and then the right uppercut through the middle, it's something they've been working on. It's been successful tonight, it's worked on a number of occasions. There we go, four rounds in the bank for uh, Jake Haig. He's come away with a, what I would assume is a 40-36 victory yeah, there. Yeah, I think so, that's what I score it, a good performance. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live on Twitter. Katie Evans just tweeted in, she can't wait to watch her cousin Luke Evans. He's up next against Fons Alexander. Still to come, Ben Sheedy, and then the main event. Final eliminator for the British Cruiserweight title. The experienced Matty Askin against up and coming, his real prospect, Tommy McCarthy. It's a big test for him tonight, and it really is a 50 50 fight that could go either way. What well, we're all looking forward to here. And you look around the venue, it's absolutely packed. Everyone's here sticking around for that main event because they know it's going to be a cracker. 
potentially we could have a fight of the year contender on our hands. Although I don't want to curse it too soon. Yeah, you put the <coughs> mockers on that loot now. I expect Johnny Nelson de Leon too. <laughs> Here we go, just waiting for the referee scorecard. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, as both boxes are brought to the centre of the ring, if you will be good enough to give a round of applause and show your appreciation, please. So, after four rounds of light heavyweight boxing, our scoring referee, Darren Sargentson, has his decision. He sees the contest at 40 points to. 36 points in favour of our winner from Macclesfield. Still undefeated as a professional boxer, Jake Hayes.